Donald Trump's critique of Kamala Harris's handling of the border issue taps directly into core conservative principles, national security, accountability, and streamlined government. He's long championed tough border control and strict immigration policies, viewing them as essential responsibilities of the government. His pointed question, why didn't she fix it for years, reflects a frustration with Harris and the Democratic Party's perceived lack of action or ineffective leadership on this front. There's no nobody saying, oh, gee, she's done a fabulous job. She's done the worst job probably in the history of any border, not just our border. She keeps talking about how she supposedly wants to fix the border. We would merely ask, why didn't she do it four years ago? It's a very simple question. I can say this with everything she has. She talks about borders and taxes and all these different things. And her policies on tax, by the way, are terrible. But I can say it for everything. Why didn't she fix it almost four years ago? She's got no plans, got no talent, got no ability to do it. For Trump, the demand for results and transparency is key and his questioning of Harris's failure to address the border crisis earlier in her tenure aligns with this. Border security, from his perspective, isn't just policy. It's about preserving law and order, protecting American jobs, and preventing crime. His comments seem to strike at the heart of public sentiment, which favors strong, decisive action on immigration, a sentiment that, in his view, Harris has not satisfied. When Trump says Harris has no plan, no talent, no ability, he's zeroing in on what he sees as the broader failure of progressive leadership. To him, their focus on investigations or abstract policies comes at the expense of practical solutions. He frames their governance as inefficient, unable to address real-world problems like the border crisis. This critique mirrors a wider distrust in the democratic approach to national security, particularly among conservatives. Trump's message also speaks to a deeper psychological need for leadership that delivers tangible outcomes. By highlighting Harris's perceived staging at the border, he's positioning her as the face of an action. His criticism resonates with those who feel frustrated by the lack of progress on crucial issues like immigration, suggesting that Harris's failure to act has directly contributed to the ongoing crisis. In doing so, Trump channels that frustration toward a clear target, making Harris the focal point of broader dissatisfaction.